starts in terms of uh, you had announced this social media blackout. You were gone for a while. You didn't know when you'd be back. So the first conclusion was was Love Island, which was ongoing at the moment. And everyone seemed to jump on it. It was Lee Reeves, Love Island this, Lee Reeves, Love Island that. Uh, I was speaking to a couple of people close to you and they were telling me 100% it, it wasn't Love Island, but it didn't stop people uh, running with the rumour. Like You probably weren't aware of it at the time, but I'm sure since you've come back, you're... You're aware of it. What what way does it make you feel to think that so many people were speculating? Um, it makes me very happy that that many people were concerned about my life, not about my well being, but about my life. You know what I mean? So, um, that's cool. I didn't actually realize until I came back from it all how much pe- people actually was thinking he's on Love Island. He's on Love Island. Every news report and tagging that I've had like was all like specula- speculations of Love Island. Um. I think it was just the timing that I said I'm going off social media for a bit was the same time that Love Island was happening. So everybody just created their own agenda from there. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, my girlfriend won't let me into Casa Mora, you know. <laughs> that that was one thing I heard as well. Yeah, yeah that's that was one of the reasons why <laughs> why you weren't going on Love Island. Now it wasn't Love Island, but it was Al- an island in the end because it was UK Survivor, a show that's been been gone for a while. They've revamped it. They've brought it back. How did a boxer from Limerick end up uh, getting asked to go on UK Survivor? Uh, listen, um, that your pat's written for you. And mine just seems to be gone. Like a roller coaster. Uh, obviously, I train and I'm based in Belfast for my training and boxing. So I ended up getting a DM in my in my Instagram inbox, and from there I was just like, "Hey, um, we're we're casting for this new show, Survivor, that's coming to the UK. It's massive in America and it's massive in Australia. Would uh be something you're interested in?" I was like, "I've, I've never thought about it, but what does it consist of?" And they're like, "Basically, it's the realest, hardest show." test your emotional your physical your willpower and everything in between and i'm like yeah that sounds cool i was like uh, when, when you auditioning they're like um this weekend i was like cool so i ended up going to an audition um it was it was crazy it wasn't like an audition i've done before um there was games there was questions there was mental there was physical uh and from there got a, got a invited to the next audition and then in the coming months after that was just different auditions flying to different places in England, in Ireland, in different countries, just like doing different auditions and different fitness tests and everything like that until eventually I just got a call and said, yeah, listen, you're, you're in. Um, you're coming over to Dominican Republic, South America, and you're getting plopped on this island. you got to starve. you got to make your own bed. You don't got toothpaste. You don't got shaving foam. You don't got... None of the luxuries that you've ever had before, everything has gone stripped down to the barest of nothing except rice and beans. Like, I think it was like 750 calories per day we had. And uh, yeah, that's how it was for the following months after that. How hard was it from when you were accepted onto the show to when you went to to kind of keep it under wraps? Because we, we mentioned all these rumours about Love Island and the likes. No one had any idea where you were gone. So how how hard was it to, to keep that a secret? Um, it, it it wasn't super hard because I've, I'm always doing stuff. Like I'm all, I'm like a duck. I'm like cushy on top. You see me? I'm just floating along, but underneath my legs is flying. So I'm always kind of keep my fingers in poise and stuff like that. So um, pardon the pun. Um, but uh, so I'm always doing stuff. So I was just training and just living my normal life and just being like. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave now in the next couple of days and just be gone for two months. And obviously it was tough for my girlfriend and tough for my family, but uh, it was just like, I just went with the floor like I always do. And in terms of the show, you, you mentioned it there, the I suppose the physical aspect of it and in terms of the challenges, the the calorie intake, the mental aspect of, of having all the, the luxuries taken away from you. People will have seen Survivor, I'm sure, over the years, but but for those who, who haven't seen it, What's the gist of it? The gist is 18 people head onto an island, get t- thrown off a ship onto an island, get split into two different tribes, and then as the days go on, well, so at the beginning you're split into two different tribes, and you and your tribe have to create a home on this island because you're here for the next however long. Uh, you got to create your own bed with the bits of the, how would you say, wildlife around you. you got to make a fire um, 
find out how to wash your clothes, find out how to eat, find out how to bathe, find out how to go to the bathroom, everything in between. And every couple of days, you're brought to a part of the beach and you're made to do challenges. These challenges can be either the most horrendous physically challenges you've ever done or the hardest emotional challenge you've ever done from puzzles to being underwater. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it tests you in every way. And if you lose, you go to a thing called tribal council, which your team doesn't want to be because in tribal council, all of the team members have to go to this booth and privately write one of your names in and then the person with the majority of the names is voted off. And then as the days go on and as the team wins and gets immunity and loses immunity, one person gets voted off, one person gets voted off until it ends up eventually one person gets the crown as sole survivor and also wins a hundred grand. That wouldn't be bad, would it? I know you're not allowed to talk to us about winning or losing or, or anything. There's there's no spoilers allowed here. Uh, the first episode does air, of course, uh, this coming Saturday. So really looking forward to that. But were you the only Irish contestant? Was it was it all UK contestants? I know that Irish people tend to do well in these UK reality shows, don't they? And even a man from Limerick, Greg O'Shea, going on and, and winning Love Island. So there's a small bit of pressure on you to, to bring another crown home to Limerick. That's right. Shout out to Greg. But uh, yeah, I think I think in them scenarios, I think definitely being Limerick, Ireland, we have that sense of humour that like a lot of British wouldn't get, but do love once they do get it. You know what I mean? So I came on uh, as obviously the only Irish person, um, thankfully because I was based in Belfast at the time. So I just I just was myself and people enjoyed it and I'm sure I made a lot of people laugh and I hope I come across good and uh, I was unapologetically myself and yeah I've made some friends for life out of it also so it's good One of the toughest things you ever did? Yeah I, w- I definitely w- I would definitely say so but also one of the most peaceful things I've ever done like to be away from mobile phones to be away from technology electricity the hustle and bustle of real life the 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 sacrifices and mental and things that you have to do in real life to be just stripped back and to have like a couple of things like make sure the fire's gone make sure you you're fed make sure you don't die simple things and then that's your life like so at the time it's a mad struggle but when you take a step back you realize like that was a peaceful time like so definitely one of the hardest things I've done but one of the most like one of the most present I've ever felt in a situation.